Hello students. Now I am going to explain applications of internal combustion engines, particularly for the field of power generation, agriculture, marine, aircraft propulsion, automobile, etc. Firstly, I will take the application of internal combustion engines to power generation. In the diesel power plant, Many diesel internal combustion engines are grouped into blocks called as generating units. Engine, every engine is connected to a shaft that is connected to its electric generator. And these generating unit set provides the modular electric generating capacity and come in the standard sizes ranging from 4 to 20 megawatt. Okay, and these are the uh, called as uh, diesel generators are called as diesel generators here we can see that one the one of the picture of this uh, diesel generator or a uh, the internal combustion engine power unit here these are the multi cylinder diesel engines multi cylinder diesel engines these are these shaft of the multi cylinder diesel engine is connected to the electric generator and forms a one unit or a one block and here you can see the size of this uh, a block compared to this man standing here and this is power is generating from that one and the number of units are uh, used for the generating the power here and this is about the how you can see the how the uh, this electric uh, uh, generation the internal combustion engines are used and similarly the, the layout of this diesel power plant we can see this is the unit one the one unit or one block what we said here like this this is unit 2 unit 3 like that future expansion the more number of units may be expanded and as this is the large capacity the power generation the some other facilities are also required for that hall office switchboard washroom storage and the stuff uh, shop whatever it is required and here the air compressor used that is to supply the compressor air to the internal combustion engine to have the higher power okay through these lines and here the oil storage is used. This oil is stored at one location here and a large quantity of the oil is required that is the diesel is required uh, to run the engines and later that is from the storage it will be supplied to the this diesel units. This is the entrance for the this diesel power plant. The next comes to the application as agriculture. Here the in the agriculture in order to the faster production and more food production. The use of the engines allow the faster production more food to be grown and harvested and the superior procedure concerned to the countless tasks. Here the, the many tasks for the agriculture sector we are going to use the equipments which are run on the internal combustion engines. From that the more the food can be grown and that whatever the procedure we are going to use for the growing of the food that one that is a uh, better superior quality of the procedure. The different tasks to be performed uh, are plumping, sowing, weeding, harvesting, threshing, etc. These are from the plumping, the initially whatever the processing of the land is there, from that the sowing that is a planting and the removal of that weeds, the unwanted what are the plants are there, those are removing and harvesting that one plants uh, there is harvesting and the threshing, the conversion of that is, uh, that is separation of the grains from the that plants or uh, crops that is carried out and farm equipments and machinery are the heart of the agriculture industry if you treat the agriculture field as the industry then the the farm equipments or machinery are there those are the heart of the uh, the agriculture industry and these machines are equipments run on the internal combustion engines some of them the examples are tractors planters and combiners combiners means those will do the many uh, works or many tasks here and are all the powered with internal combustion engines to plant and harvest from the planting to the to the harvesting of the crafts here we can see the the sum of the that is uh, sketches of this applications of the internal combustion engine in the agriculture that is uh, here the transportation and uh, that is uh, the separation of the whatever the uh, plants harvesting of the plants are there and this is the plumping and initial that is the planting the process is there for that the different equipments are shown here and these are the some spraying of the pesticide and plumping like that this also 
we are going to use these are the actual pictures of the different types of the equipments that is a, a processing of the land okay for that one transportation like the different equipments are used in the agriculture for uh, the increase in the production okay this is about the agriculture uh, field application of the internal combustion engine next one is the marine marine means here in the sea uh, that is transportation the sea transportation what are the uh, vehicles we are going to use those are the marine vehicles and there we are going to use the internal combustion engine this is the internal picture of that uh, one of the ship there the internal combustion engines are used the multi cylinder internal combustion engines and arrangements for the that operation of the internal combustion engines are shown here and this is the one of the model of the ship and where the internal combustion engine is used there is a one small capacity uh, ship model here these are the two internal combustion engines are shown and these are run this rotors and propellers which will uh, allow to move that one the movement of the vehicle that one during that rotation it will propel okay provide the motion to the that a uh, ship and here this one is uh, the different types of the ships and boats what are used okay the, the large capacity that is the passenger uh, cruise uh, ships that one and the smaller capacity ships also uh, run that one this is the goods ship which carries the containers and some other boats these are the some uh, smaller capacity uh, boats this one and these boats also run on the internal combustion engine almost uh, all of the the whatever the sea transportation ships and the boats run on the internal combustion engines like this the internal combustion engines are used in the marine applications the next application is the aircraft propulsion sir the internal combustion engine is the power plant which almost to run the light uh, general aviation aircrafts here the light general uh, aviation aircrafts so this internal combustion engines are used but the modern aircrafts what are there those are heavy uh, aircrafts those are using the turbofan engines those are using the turbofan engines also the electrical electrop uh, aircraft motors can promise the new and cleaner aviation future but they are still way up that is powering only prototypes okay that the electrical uh, power also we can use for the aviation sector but here the uh, that is not completely uh, practiced till now those only the pract uh, in the prototypes therefore the all the small capacity aeroplanes are run by the internal combustion engines and modern engines are using the turbofan engines here we will therefore focus on the internal combustion engine in this series discussing light aircraft propulsion as in the light aircraft propulsion this uh, internal combustion en engines are used we will discuss those things this is a jet engine cross section this is jet type ic engine that is this is jet type ic engine here the similar to the internal combustion engine we can see here okay that is the intake is there air inlet where it is taking place it is a compression of the air it will take place and after that the fuel will be supplied here and the combustion of the chamber uh, where it will be combustion of the fuel taking place then after combustion the the whatever this burnt gases are there those will force to run this uh, uh, whatever the the shaft is there then the exhaust of that will coming out of that one this is the turbine which will provide the the rotation of the shaft this is the cold section this is the hot section of the jet engine and small aircraft uses the internal combustion engine examples of this small aircraft we can see here the where the internal combustion engines are used the many examples are there the few examples i have taken here to explain about it the next uh, whatever the this application of the industry is there that uh, internal combustion engine is there that is the automobile okay in this one automobile is a very important uh, that is a application that for the uh, providing all the whatever the transportation either it may be passenger or it may be goods whatever for that transportation we are going to use the uh, internal combustion engines in the vehicles the internal combustion engine are almost uh, used in the almost all automobiles or road vehicles like scooters motorcycles cars buses trucks and heavy vehicles etc the internal combustion engines what are uh, used those may be a petrol engine or a spark ignition engine or diesel engine or a compression ignition engine okay here we see that one 
okay in the transportation either from the transportation two wheelers four wheelers the passenger like that the car buses like that the we are going to to use the the central combustion engine and goods that is transportation of the goods that is the trucks and the some of the the containers there the goods transportation also we are going to use the smaller capacity engines the uh, spark ignition engine or a petrol engines are used and larger capacity that is a heavy vehicles we are going to use the diesel engines here we can see the the main parts of this uh, internal combustion uh, that is uh, automobile this is called as automobile which will provide the that movement to the vehicle okay this is the engine the battery okay which supplies the some accessories the power to the accessory the transmission there is a power transmission to the wheel the axle is connected to between the engine and the wheel and this catalytic converter that will reduce the emission the muffler to reduce the whatever the this particles are there exhaust pipe this one and the exhaust pipe that is exhausted to the atmosphere and here the shock absorbers are to provide the absorb the shock and the brake is used for the braking and the fuel tank which is supplies the fuel to the the whatever this internal combustion engine is there this is about the how the this internal combustion engine works for the passenger car okay for the transportation it is one of the example of the automobile then the automobile how the the changes in the automobile are taken place till now the the modernization of the internal combustion engines are taking place from the uh, olden days okay in the olden days that is called as uh, internal combustion engine 10 where affordable and reliable type the very simple the automobile uh, vehicles are used very simple that one and right? the less features are there but only the uh, the main aim during those days only the transportation then that is improved that is in the former uh, that is the internal combustion engine 20 where the engine is modified like this the the body frame is constructed as a car and later the emission completely is associated with this one the emission it will be emitting the more the gases okay then the convenient this is used the convenient compared to the earlier one next ic engine 3 whatever is there 30 in that one emission complete again associated with that one but the, it is a fuel efficient the efficiency of the fuel will be increased and this is the engine in the 30 it is a fully flexible internal combustion engine the fully flexible internal combustion engine means whatever the our necessary is there for that this necessary whatever the uh, features required all those are associated with this internal combustion engine 30 now the whatever the modern engines nowadays we are using those are the internal combustion engine 40 the 40 engine this is hybridized and connected engine okay fully flexible power train it is the hybridized means as all uh, we know that hybridized means here we are going to use the internal combustion engine along with the battery power the uh, in, on the both the power the engine will be running and whatever the all the features are there the features are controlled by using this controlled by using all the whatever the instrumentation required for that one the modern automobile what is there it is a very flexible and very completely all features what are there those are associated with this one like this the development in the automobile is taking place and the automobile there in that uh, automobile section we are going to use the internal combustion engine mainly okay like this uh, the different uh, what are the applications are there of the automobile uh, internal combustion engine i have discussed here thank you